Hello everyone, welcome to question number one of advanced series question on parabola. So our today's question is if two tangents to the parabola y square is equal to 8x meets the tangent at its vertex in the points P and Q. If PQ length is given as four units, then prove that the locus of the point of intersection of two tangents is y square is equal to 8 into x plus 2. So I'm going to start with the parabola. So let's say this is our parabola x and y axis our parabola is something like this because y square is equal to 8x will be something like this let's say two points i'm drawing the tangent let's call this first point is a that is a t1 square comma 2 a t1 that's we take for parametric coordinates and let's say at b i'm drawing the tangent that is a t2 square comma 2 a t2 now at these two points i'm going to draw tangents so if i draw tangents it will be something like this and one more tangent is something like this passing through b now the tangents meeting the tangent at vertex at p and q so let's say this point is p and this point is q now in the question they are saying this length pq here this length is fixed this length is 4 now a and b are changing in such a way that this length is fixed that is 4 units now we have to find the locus so this will be our locus And let's say locus is h comma k because we always take the locus as h comma k so we have to find the locus of this point's point of intersection of the tangents such that this length pq is fixed so i'm going to start with the equation of tangent equation of tangent at t1 and t2 so equation of tangent at t1 will be i think y is equal to x by t1 plus a t1 Similarly, tangent at t2 will be similarly y is equal to x by t2 plus a t2. Now from here, let's calculate the p point. So p point will be, see on p point, the x coordinate will be automatically 0. Then immediately I can say y coordinate will be a t1. Because in this equation, I'm going to put x is equal to 0. Similarly, q point I can calculate and q point will be equal to 0 comma a t2. Now they are saying the pq distance is equal to it's given that its pq distance is uh, 4 units so i'm going to uh, apply the formula here distance formula so pq will be root over a square i can take outside and here we'll get t1 minus t2 whole square and this distance is given as i think here it's given as 4 now i'm going to square on both sides so if you square on both sides i think you'll get this as 4 here you'll get t1 minus t2 whole square is equal to 16 now 4 and 16 will cancel out here it will give you this equation t1 square plus t2 square minus 2 t1 t2 is equal to 4. Now I'm going to club this t1 and t2. I'm going to write this as t1 plus t2 whole square minus 4 times t1 t2 is equal to 4. Now I'll tell you the reason why I'm doing this. Why I have clubbed t1 t2 and why I have made the perfect square. So let's call this as first equation. Now I'm going to solve this in the next page. Now let's start with the locus. So earlier I've taken the point locus as h comma k. Now in general you should remember if I'm drawing the tangent at t1 and t2. So the point of intersection of the two tangents drawn at t1 and t2 we remember. So the locus will be also can be written as a t1 t2 comma a times t1 plus t2. So this result is very important and we remember this result. Now I think I can compare h and k by these two points because h is this and k is this point so I'm immediately I'm going to compare these two points from here I got h as 2 times t1 t2 because a is 2 here and k I got that is 2 times t1 plus t2 here so from here I got the value of t1 t2 as here I can write this as h by 2 and from here the value of t1 plus t2 is equal to k by 2 and that was the reason I have club t1 t2 here so that I'll get the answer immediately now here I'm going to calculate the locus. So immediately I'm going to substitute the value of t1 plus t2 and t1 t2. That is k by 2 whole square. That is k square divided by 4 I can write here. Minus 4 times h by 2 whole thing is equal to 4. Now I can write this as h k square is equal to. I can write this 2 and 4 will cancel out here. Will If you multiply by 4 I think we'll get this as 8h plus 16 I can write. So in the end what we do in order to calculate locus. We get the equation in h and k. If you don't see any arbitrary variable, replace h by your x. We replace h by your x and k by your y. 
So we'll get this as y square is equal to 8x plus 16. And we'll get y square is equal to, if I take 8 common, we'll get x plus 2 here. So this will be our equation of the locus, that is point of intersection of tangents drawn at T1 and T2. So I think we got the answer, enhance proof, and that will be all.